hey guys firstly i want to wish you a very happy new year to you all may the new year bring all the happiness and all the success in your life and today we are going to discuss about how to determine the moment of inertia of a right circular cone of height h and a radius a about its axis okay so i have uh, drawn it beforehand this is the uh, reference frame x axis y axis and z axis this z axis is its own axis okay so, and uh, this picture is only shows the first quadrant of the whole all the uh, other quadrants so uh, this cone is not total it has its behind parts also in other quadrants but i have drawn here only the first quadrant so here and uh, i have taken at a d z distance from base i have taken a thin disk of uh, breadth dz and radius r so we know we can write that moment of inertia of uh, a circular disk of radius r and thickness dz it will be by we know that uh, and it will be equal to half dm r square okay now we have to calculate this dm and uh, let us consider that this rho is mass per unit volume so it will be like this somewhat like this okay so dm will be we can write that can transfer dm with this and here so it will be like this uh, somewhat like this r to the power 4 dz and there will be rho and pi now from this picture we can establish a relationship between r and h and also m i mean the relationship will be like this uh, the ratio of r and a it will be equal to h minus z by h like simple ratio of r by a a is the total radius r is the radius of the disk but is it will be equal to h minus z is the this value this value and this is the z and z value and this i have taken this disk at a distance z from the base so this is the h minus z and h is the total length so from here we get r is equal to h minus z a h now if we substitute this value in here we'll get let us i disk okay now understand that um, if i integrate this for the whole uh, height we'll get this cone uh, and we'll get the moment of inertia for this cone about the rotation of this axis now um, we simply do that so cone moment of inertia of the cone will be integration 0 to h the, the whole height half rho pi h minus z to the 4 a to the 4 h to the 4 dz now as everything else is uh, constant so we can write them outside the integral and that will be like this we'll have this only this inside now if we substitute let us take h minus z is equal to y 
then minus dz will be dy we can write half rho by four is to the four four dy with a minus sign yeah, so that will I, i'll write that outside and uh, the limits will change when okay when when the limit of uh, z was zero limit of uh, y will be eight and when the limit of z was eight limit of y will be zero so this now if we do that we'll get If we sim simplify that, uh, we'll get a minus sign here and that will make this a plus sign and we'll get this. And if we simplify, oh, this will be multiplied, this will be 10. Mm, now, if we simplify that, we'll get this. Now, so we'll get something like this, okay. Now, you have to understand that uh, rho, now rho has changed, okay, rho was mass per unit volume, now this is also mass per unit volume, but for the cone, so the total mass of the cone will be m, and the total volume will be pi a square h, as we know, so m will be equal to pi a square h rho, now let us take that expression in here we can we have pi we have a square we have rho here we have h okay oh the total volume will be one third pi a square h as this is a cone okay this if if this was a cylinder that will be pi a square h for this for a cone it will be one third now so this will be like this and here we need one third so we'll take here right here one third and we'll multiply three on the other hand so it will be like equal what it was and a square now this total this term total is equal to m so we will get 3 by 10 m a square which is the moment of inertia of the cone which is rotating about its own axis so this is it thank you if you like the video please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you have any question about this then you can comment below and let me know i'll try to help you